Hello, fellow weirdos. I'm Andy Negative, and today we're restringing a right-handed guitar for a lefty in just five easy steps. All right, weirdos, before we jump in, please take a second to subscribe to the channel for all kinds of music and guitar-related stuff. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, well, I frequently get questioned about if you can flip a right-handed guitar around to play it left-handed. I, I mean, yes, obviously you can, because we're about to do it. Uh, but honestly, I, I feel a lot of left-handed guitar players started out this way. They found one of their friend's old guitars or a, or a family member's old guitar, they flipped it around, put the strings on backwards, and went to town. This is the, probably the most affordable, economical option when you're starting out, and I would highly suggest it because probably someone you know just has a, le a guitar laying around that no one is using that they'll probably just give to you for nothing, and then you have a guitar without having to go and spend any money except for on strings. So there's that. Lots of great, great left-handed musicians have done this. Kurt Cobain did it, Jimi Hendrix did it, Tim Armstrong from Rancid still does it to this day. The dude has a custom shop model from Gretsch and he still uses an uh, upside down strung Gretsch that he had from before. It's crazy talk, but he does it. So obviously if it ain't broke, then just make it left-handed. The guitar that I'm using today has already been through this process, but it, it you know, it's it the same, it all still applies. We're basically, it's a right-handed guitar that has been strung around for a left-handed person. So without further ado, let's just, let's, let's, let's do the, let's make the, let's make the guitar the way that it will work for you, for you. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Step one, get a right-handed guitar and strings. Pretty simple. Get a right-handed guitar and a pack of strings. Yeah. Step two, take off the strings. Well, take off the strings. That's it. I mean, that's it. That's all you gotta, that's all you gotta do is just take off the strings. Step three, reverse the nut and slash or increase the depth of the nut. Yeah, so as you can see in this example, this guitar, the owner just increased the depth of the nut for the, for the low string because you're swapping the places with the high string, uh, which you can do using a small file or a knife. Uh, I, I, you probably wanna use a file, it's, it's better. But you can also just pop the nut out and spin it around and put it back in. That can be a little tricky on some guitars. Uh, you might want to like re-glue with a little bit of wood glue if you get the nut out and put it back on again. Otherwise, it's just gonna be bouncing around all the time. But really, as long as you spin the nut around or extend the size so that the large string fits into it, you're pretty much good to go. Step four, restring the guitar backwards. Again, just put the strings back on, but do it the way that it would be so it's, so it's left-handed. It's pretty straightforward. Just restring the guitar. And step five, move the strap peg to the other side. So the, the, if you put this guitar on a strap and try to wear it, you're gonna be nipple riding it really hard and it's gonna be really uncomfortable, even with a really long strap. So what you wanna do is just take the uh, strap peg that's on the side closest to the uh, fretboard and just move it to the other side. Um, on a guitar with horns, like a Stratocaster, it's a, lot, it's a lot easier. On a guitar like a Les Paul, where the horn is really small, I mean, it's gonna be a little more uncomfortable, but pretty much just move it and then you can throw your strap on and you're and you're, you're good to go basically you now have a left-handed guitar where you used to have a right-handed guitar and that's it it's super simple it's dirt simple you just take a right-handed guitar and you flip it over and it's a left-handed guitar now you're gonna have to get used to the fact that the knobs and such are kind of where your arm goes but you know what there are worse things in the world you'll get used to it Probably this guitar costs you no money, and that's the perfect way to get started. Uh, at some point in your career, if you keep playing guitar, you might want to consider investing in an actual left-handed guitar, but you know what? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm showing you what your options are, okay? Here are your options. That's it. Uh, if you found this video informative or insightful or funny, I guess, whatever, please obliterate that like button, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, as I said before, for guitar and music stuff. 
And I would like to say a very humongous thank you to the Weirdo Cult uh, for supporting me in all my weird creative endeavors. They honestly help me to be able to feed myself and drink coffee while throwing myself wholeheartedly into this content creator, musician, weirdo, guy lifestyle. If you would like to support my creative endeavors further, consider joining the community over on Patreon. They get early access to all of my content, exclusive music that you cannot find anywhere else, and they have their names included at the end of every single one of my videos, which you will see immediately following what I'm about to say. I'm Andy Negative, and I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> Bye!